Wow, thank you very much for the presentation and thank you very much for the applause. And thank you very much, of course, for being here. I have a question for you. Who of you have been in a presentation of mine before? Somebody? Oh my God, thank you for coming back. <laughs> I'm giving another one tomorrow. <laughs> All of you are invited in case you like this one. Okay, but the one of tomorrow is going to be different. This one is pronunciat. This is about technology. And tomorrow we are going to work with technology, but, but with different digital tools with different purposes. And today, everything is going to be about pronunciation. And I am very surprised and very happy to see how many people are interested in this topic about pronunciation. And it's good because what, so what we are going to cover today is going to be very useful for you and your students, but also for you. Also for you, these are, going, these are some tools that are for us, for our use. If you have spare minutes, spare minutes a day on your cell phone, yeah, to work with your pronunciation, is like the gym for the language. Yeah, it is just like that. Your language is going to get fit. If you are not a native speaker, uh, like me, yeah, I'm not a native speaker. If your English, the English that you learned, you did it at school, like me, at Mexican school. Uh, so we know, we know uh, that we really need something to, to, to better, to improve our pronunciation, yeah? So uh, pronunciation is very important because it is like the dress of our speaking. It is nice, it is good. We know that there is not any problem nowadays to have an accent. We can have our accent that there is not any problem. English is not anymore a, a language for only American people or British people, because nowadays English is lingua franca, right? So it means that there are, we are more than the native speakers. The, the ones who are not native, non-native speakers, we are more than the, the non-natives, than, than, than the natives. So uh, there is not any problem in having an accent. That made me happy, the first time that I heard that. Because I felt, I used to feel a little bit embarrassed of my English, my Mexican English. Not anymore, as long as it is understandable, as long as you can speak fluently, as long as you can transmit the message that you want. But if we can have some time, if we can have five minutes a day or 10 minutes a day to make something, to do something to improve our pronunciation, our English is going to become better, better. Sometimes uh, there are teachers who are very good teachers, but they have lost the opportunities, the good opportunities, because of the pronunciation. Their English is good, it's fine, yeah? But the pronunciation, in that first interview, they say, thank you, we will call you. And maybe they are the best teachers. Some of my friends are like that, in that situation, and it's sad. Yeah, just because pronunciation. Okay, so today we are going to work with pronounce apps and I hope that you like them, the apps that I have for you, and that you use them. Okay, so last year, 2020, as all of you know, our lives changed and as everybody has mentioned in all the rooms that you have visited previously, and we know that, but it was a change, it was a very big change yeah, to the way we were used to teach. And uh, uh, there was a workshop online, teaching English online by the Cambridge University. And I enrolled to that workshop. It was five weeks online to take that workshop with topics to, do, to teach virtually, with different tools, with different apps to teach reading and grammar and vocabulary and listening. I was invited there as a mentor to interact with people who were there. But to me, it was wonderful. I spent all my summer doing that. And, and it was wonderful because of all the things that I could learn. I have been into technology like forever. I have always been a fan of technology, uh, the techno teacher, in face-to-face in -face stages. And now, for, well, for the first time, we became into virtuality. And that teaching English online from Cambridge was a very important part of my life and I learned a lot. And the applications that the apps that I'm going to show you today, 
to share with you today, I took them from that site, okay? So they are very good and some of them are free or the free version is good for you. The first one that I am going to present you is this one, English Central. I don't know if you know it, perhaps yes, I don't know. It is a, a, a website. This one is a website. Oh, let me tell you something. It is a pinky promise. If you don't need to take pictures, if you want, you can. I am going to keep. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be in all the pictures. But uh, at the end of the presentation, uh, I always finish with a QR code. Oh. The QR code is going to take you to the whole presentation. You are going to take it in Google Drive. So with you. Uh, on, the, on the 130 slides, <laughs> you are going to take that. Yes, they are 132. <laughs> but they are very fast, okay? Don't, don't you worry because of the time. You are going to be on time for taking your lunch after this. So the first one is English Central. And English Central is a website that you can log in in the internet in your computer. You can visit it. But they also have an app that you can download on your mobile phone or any tablet, iPad, gadget, whatever you have. It is available in, in the Play Store and in the App Store. Okay, so this is good. English Central, they, there is also a tutorial. When, once you get the presentation, you only click to that link and it is going to take you to the tutorial, okay, the commercial. But today I'm going to present you the most important characteristics of this uh, website. First of all, we have four things to do there. It is watch, learn, speak, and go live. Go live is the only thing that you cannot do in the free version. Go live is for the beta version. But you can do watch, watch a video based on your level and interest. Mod any words you don't know. Learn, learn new words by filling in the blanks in the video line. Speak, speak your new words, getting instant feedback on your pronunciation and fluency. Okay, they are the three things, the three principles, the three activities to do to improve our English, our vocabulary, and of course, our pronunciation. Here it is, the site, of, well, you just go into Google, www.englishcentral.com. And then, you are going to arrive, it is there. It says, your personal English teacher. There is a place, there. You can see the arrow, and it says, register for free. Wonderful. So you create your account, your personal account, for free. That is going to take track to all the things that you are going to be learning. Then you register, remember, you can register with your Facebook or with Google, or just fill the information in your name and a password. And there is going to be the first window that you are going to be presented. Here you have the levels, and the instruction says, set your level to start studying. There is beginner, they, there are seven different levels, and every level has the descriptors. Okay, the descriptors. At this level, you will learn to say the letters of the alphabet, spell out one's name and address, tell the time, ask about hobbies and interests, talk about food, Introduce yourself, you know, it says, give the price of something, talk about your home, describe everyday objects. Perhaps some of these topics ring a bell to you. Perhaps you are working with some of these topics in your class. If you are teaching we get to beginners, right? But there are intermediate and advanced, and you can see the things, the topics there, the skills, etc. So you can use this website. To come to, as a complement to the textbook and the program that you are using at the place you are teaching, or, or the material that you are using with your students. This can be a very nice complement because you can find and identify the topics very easily. Let's suppose that you are, so you are working with parts of the house and uh, you are going to choose the, the material, the unit that uh, corresponds to the parts of the house you complement what you are teaching at, at your classroom. Do I have volume? Oh, Not okay. anymore. Okay. Was I shouting? <laughs> Was I shouting? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm very loud. <laughs> then, uh, it says, uh, set your level to start studying. Well, we have the, the other example is level number two. 
At this level, you will learn to talk about feelings, about needs and wants, and about future plans, ask for a get things, talk about likes and dislikes, talk about past activities, say what you can or cannot do, ask and answer simple questions about some topics, and then different forms of transportation. So these are the very basic topics. Here and, and so on. You can identify all the descriptors there. So at the beginning of the use of the website, after you register on it, you have to choose a level, okay, for you, for your use. Or for your students. Maybe you want to go there and explore and identify the one that you are going to recommend to your students. Okay, you are going to tell them which one to use. Perhaps you want to identify something like for more personalized learning. Maybe you are not going to recommend the same for everybody. This is very good uh, for, for different differentiated instruction, yeah? Personalized instruction, which is good. Sometimes we have groups that are not, not necessarily everybody is at the same level or has the same needs or has the same enthusiasm, right? Or need for reinforcement. So this is level number seven. <laughs> if you believe that I was going to go to all the levels, no. <laughs> this is at this level. You will learn to talk about a product or service in teaching. Describe how something changes over time. Ask and ask questions about controversial topics. Talk about the impact or the change. Discuss the process of the future. Just find a solution to a problem. Talk about abstract ideas and not done it. You see, the topics are very different, and I am sure that even when you are a teacher and your English is very advanced, maybe you are going to find something there that you are going to learn that is going to motivate you for continuing learning, that it is going to be improving your listening, your, your vocabulary, as well as your pronunciation for free. That's fantastic. So, here, if this is a bar, if you scroll down the bar, you keep on looking at all the topics that are included there. And at the bottom, it says, test scores associated with the level. So we have DOI, the equivalence, 950, 990 points. IELTS, 8.5, TOEFL, 115 to 120. TOEFL IBT, 105 to 120. The Common European Framework of Reference, that's the one that I am very familiar with. This one is level C2, proficiency. If you want to practice, there's something for you. Yes, and if you are planning to present an exam, a certificate, uh, certification exam, this is a good opportunity for you to practice your vocabulary and your expressions about many topics. So it's very good. And we have another one, the YDS, 95.2100. All the levels in the descriptors at the bottom have those that those equivalences which are very important with them if you're familiar with them then you are going to make a good choice for you for yourself and for your students okay here we have the beginner okay send your level to start studying let's imagine that we pick that one and then it says at this level you will learn two of the alphabet name and address tell the time hobbies interests etc. Everything for a beginner. Beginners need good models. But sometimes in the classroom we don't have enough time for being modeling and modeling and modeling as much as the students need or as much as the students want. Sometimes students want more. There are some students that want more exposure. Do you know that all the students take the same class but they receive different things? Because they get exposure on their own to their music, to their video games, to their movies, to their... And with this, you can give a good recommendation for those ones whose interests are not in English. That's my case. I, I teach at an escuela normal, and my students don't really like... Some of them like music in English, but not all of them. Some of them like movies in English, but not all of them. Some of them like video games or sports that come in English, but not all of them. So the ones who don't have an opportunity because of their interests to keep with uh, to keep in touch uh, with language uh, outside the classroom, this is a good opportunity. Ten minutes a day, and you reinforce with real English and real expressions 
that they are going to stick to them and they're going to be very useful for them. And they are going to be listening to the right pronunciation, to the right intonation, and learning the words that are for their level. Because sometimes you say, okay, watch movies in English. But if they are beginners, they don't really understand, right? They feel like discouraged. <laughs> so with these exercises, they are not going to feel discouraged. You just help them to choose the right level for them. Here, this is the next window. Once you select the level that we're going to explore, and you can change the level. It's not like a definite decision that you chose that one and that one is. No. You can change the levels. You can change if you make, if you change your mind, then you can change it. Or if you want just to explore, just go and explore. Free live session. Yeah, this is for everybody. Even if your plan is free, if your, your account is for free, you can get access to a 20 minute one on one conversation, live conversation about the video that you select. And you can receive an evaluation of your listening, speaking, and pronunciation to set your English level. A personalized study plan with recommended videos and courses to help improve your English. This is a good experience. I recommend you if you want, if you are interested, take it. It's for free. It's 20 minutes, the class with a tutor, and the tutor is going to tell you what level she considers that you are in. So just because of being curious, for me, that would be good. And uh, also, with that, you can see and you can explore if you are, a, well, if you would like to recommend the, the website to your students. I mean, the, the 20 minute class, okay? The 20 minute sessions, if you would like your students to leave that experience, that would be good if you feel it would be good for them okay then next it says welcome to my english maximize your english control experience by following this tutorial you can skip the tutorial or you can start with the tutorial some people love tutorials some people skip tutorials <laughs> yeah we are <laughs> from that we're from both kinds here is the next window and that is the the, the principal the main page i hear you are going to find your units your different lessons and it says there, uh, schedule your free lesson. And then you see in this course of beginner, general English one, vocabulary builder, talking about movies and some suggestions. There you have the tabs at the top. And it says, search in English. You can look for the topic there in the magnifying glass. Yeah, this is the browser. And in the browser, it will close. Paris, yeah, hospital, or whatsoever the topic is. And you're going to get the material there. Because you can follow the order and the sequence of topics that is already there. Or you can choose the topics according to the topics that you are covering in your class. And there's no problem at all about it, okay? So you, the, 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 the website is going to be keeping track of the ones, the units, the lessons that are, are already taken. And uh, so the students are going to be seeing their progress, even if it is not by sequence, okay, you can choose. Then, here we have the weekly progress chart. The weekly progress chart is the one, this one is empty, but your students are going to be having some bars by day. In the day, they are the days of the week. So this is a weekly report. And uh, you can see, you can ask them, there is not a way here in this website that you can be the teacher and they are the students and that you monitor their progress on the website. No, because some apps have that, right? But not in this one. But you can ask them to give you a screenshot. A screenshot of this, uh, of this page, uh -huh, the screen, showing their weekly progress to you, okay? So that's the way that you can monitor that they are doing the activities. And, well, talking about monitoring students, do you use the email to monitor your students or you use an LMS, an LMS platform? Like Google Classroom, like Blackboard, Canva, Edmodo, which one do you use? Say, Teams, Classroom, Classroom, Canva, okay, Moodle, yeah, very good. If you do not use a platform, an LMS platform. There are some who that which are for free. 
It's great to monitor the progress and the activities. You assign the activities, and the students then, then send you the activity there. Nothing gets lost. Your students never have to be asking you if they are absent or something. They don't need you. I mean, everything is going to be there. The assignments, right? The homework, the assignments, the activities are going to be there forever. And with the grades and everything, if you are monitoring your students through email only, through WhatsApp only, through Facebook, some, some people are like that through Facebook. But not with an element platform. It's very bad. So uh, get an element platform, okay? I recommend you to go down. You don't only need an account of Gmail, okay? Sorry, that's not my telephone. <laughs> so, um, there you are going to be monitoring the activities in your LMS platform. Yeah, and there students are going to be uploading the screenshot of the progress of these activities. You only need to see it, but you don't need to check it. So this is fantastic homework, right? I mean, it's very practical, it's very positive, it's very realistic, it's real English, it's good for them, but it doesn't imply like a lot of work for you. It's very easy to identify the topics. It's very easy to tell them where to go. It's very easy to tell, okay, you plug in and, and, and get here. In the homework, in the LMS, you upload the picture, the screenshot of the lesson that you want them to see, of the video that you want them to watch. It's very easy, nobody can get lost, okay? Here we have then the video, the options. For example, this is unit number two. Unit number two says introductions and has these subtopics. It says, hello okay, and goodbye, fun day, fun. <coughs> it says, uh, getting to know each other. Let me introduce myself, grandfather and sibling. And the videos are very small. They are short videos. They are not very big, but they learn something. Every time you assign something there, they learn something and they reinforce what they know. And there are things that they are going to use because it's real English. Here, this is for example, in unit three, meeting people, what's your name and age, how old are you, my name and age, etc. So, very useful videos. You don't need to do anything but choose it. Okay, the right one. Assigning it and then receive your screenshot, and everything is checked. And that's very good, right? Now, uh, here we have this uh, of unit number four. And from unit number four, let's imagine that we choose these things in the classroom. Things in the classroom. This is showing a cartoon, but it doesn't mean that it is an app only for children. Children can use it, but uh, it is not, for, not really for children. It's more for teenagers and adults. Okay, so here it says, let's learn about objects in the classroom. And here we have the first part of the sequence. Watch the video. This is the first stage of the sequence. First, they watch the video. Then here it says, uh, type the missing word. So if you see this line, this line on the screen, it means that it, it has inserted some questions, some questions in the video. Tomorrow, in the session of tomorrow, you are going to learn how to do your own videos that pop out the questions, okay? But today, we are going to work with this one that is already done. Today, uh, then, every every time there the is a, this white space, it pops out. Automatically, it pops out the question, like the one that we can see, and it says, type the missing word. The boy has A, who can tell me the answer? If they are talking about things in the classroom. The boy has a pencil. The boy has a pencil. Yeah, you're right. Thank you very much. Everybody goes. The boy has a pencil without looking at the video. Oh my. <laughs> okay, very good. So supposedly the kids watched the video before. It was not possible for me to download the video. That's why I am not showing it to you. But. Uh, the video, it, it is part of a lesson. Another very good thing that it is a us is that in all the sentences that you are displaying here, if there is a word that they don't know, they only tap on the word. They click on the word, and then it pops up. It pops, pops up with the meaning and the sound. So imagine that they don't know boy. <laughs> well, that's just an example. 
But uh, then any word, any word that you see there in the exercises, you just put your finger there and the meaning gets mm -hmm. the picture there. With the exercises, they have already got 30 points with those exercises, okay? With the correct answers, and then they, well, they are here and they learn the words, okay? Learn the words is the second stage. Remember the first one? Watch. And the second one? Learn. Very good. Then we have this. Things in the classroom. We have them speak. A part of speaking. So now they are going to speak, but they know what they are going to say. They know the answers. They know what they're, they, what's the meaning. Now they are going to learn the pronunciation. And in this part, they are going to tap on the microphone. When they tap on the microphone, they start recording okay, with their finger. If it's touch, if it's on the telephone, right? With the computer, you use your mouse. <laughs> And then, then you, you open your microphone. Click here and record the answer, it says there. So there, you, say, you, you have congratulations. You have your progress. You have reached your daily goal. And you are on a one-day trip. Remember what we got yesterday in the plenary about goals, learning goals? This is very good because they are reaching their learning, their their daily goal, okay? It's very, very good, motivating. The same as you. You can reach your daily goal if you use this app for practicing, okay? For you. Then we have the one thing in the classroom. Here, this is the only thing that you cannot do in the free version, okay? Remember, the chat, the class, one-to-one -to -one class, this is the only one that you cannot do. But all the others, you can. Okay, then we have the percentages, the, the, the grades. For example, the buoyancy pencil, we have 100. He is writing with a pen. This is about pronunciation. This is about pronunciation, okay? And he got a 67, and then there is something under this notebook, and it's 100, okay? They receive feedback. They receive feedback on the things that they answer, and they receive feedback on the things that they say the way they pronounce it, so it's very good. Sometimes it is impossible for us if we have a group of 30 people to give feedback one after another after another, every single word they say. But here, they receive a good model. They can, they can uh, listen to the video or watch the video the time that they want, and they receive the feedback individually for every single word that they produce to the microphone. Here we have the bar of the progress, now it's the percent, okay, with the mini exercise that we did there. In these things in the classroom, things in the classroom now has a check mark there. Every activity that they do there is going to receive a check mark. So it's keeping track of the activities that they do. And as I'm telling you, it's not necessary that you follow the sequence. Maybe you would like to go. Uh, the topics, the, the order, the sequence that you want or have according to your material. So, there are these units in this first level. Every level has a different number of units and a different number of videos, but all of them are very useful and they are endless. This is on the second tab. The second tab here says videos. Videos, okay? So you can see the lessons, the way we were looking at them, or the videos, directly the videos with the topic. If you can see, the videos are very short, as I told you, they're like one minute. So it doesn't take you more than 10 minutes to take one video with the questions, and then the recording of your voice, and with your mobile phone, it's very easy, it's very easy. and you're going to get very good practice, very easy, and fast, and with feedback. Every day you learn something new. We never finish learning, right? Another teacher was asking me, hey, maybe you master English. No, of course not. We are always learning, always learning. We, we don't master English. We don't master Spanish, do you? <laughs> yeah, languages are like that. And well, we, we have another section, the section of vocabulary. And in the section of vocabulary, you can see your quizzes. In the quizzes, you, have, you can choose different kinds of questions. You can take a screenshot of this and give an instruction to your students so they can see where they have to log in and what they have to do. 
And then uh, it says mixed questions, it's all the kinds of questions that are available together. Typing with hints, typing without hints. Speaking with hints, instead of typing, they have to speak. And multiple choice. They are very good options for being practicing. And there is a very big vocabulary bank. For example, level one wordlets is 1,000 words. Okay, just that one. So yeah, <laughs> very, very good. There we have this start quiz. Yeah, and you have you can do it, you can follow it like this. The words are going to be if you want to display the vocabulary list, or if you want them to take a quiz. So you need to explore this. This is another thing at Lame Class. Top 10 pronunciation challenges. Are there pronunciation challenges in English? Of course they are, right? There are many sounds that don't exist in our native language. There are many sounds, many different sounds that are tricky. Or our students commonly mistake, they are commonly confuse those, those sounds. So in this case, they are going to have videos for the 10 pronunciation challenges, okay? And you can assign them if you want them to practice a specific sound. And the videos are very illustrative. Yeah, for to me, it is kind of embarrassing to be showing my students the position of the tongue and the lips and the, yeah, the teeth and everything. Yeah, and now, with the lockdown, we can't, they cannot see our mouth anymore. Yeah, so that's, well, that's awful, right? They are not going to learn how to articulate. They are not going to, can you see? You cannot. <laughs> Maybe you can listen to it, but you cannot see. With these videos, they can see. And they can see one and I, once and another and another time, the time that they need. I always tell my students to watch these videos, these kinds of videos, with a mirror on their hands. So at the same time, they are looking at the position of the, of the lady, and they are looking at themselves, the position that they are using, okay, with a mirror on the computer or the telephone, yeah, so they can compare the correct articulation of the sounds of all the top 10 challenges. There is a YouTube channel, yes, and it's also for free. And there, if you have specifically some tips, some words, some sounds of the challenge, but some other tips as well. So it's good and it's for free. And, well, as I told you before, yeah, you can download the app on you know, your mobile phone or tablet. Google Play or uh, on the App Store. That's it. Or use it on the computer, in the internet. www English Central. That's the one. Okay, so if you want, if you can, I have a friend over there at the door who yesterday made us have a lot of fun because he made us dance. I am going to do the same because I am a very good student. Okay, everybody stand up. When I clap, you stand up. When I clap twice, you stand up, okay? Yeah, yeah, everybody stand up. Now clap with me twice. Okay. When we clap twice, we're going to dance and you're going to dance with me, okay? We're going to clap. One, two, three. Na, 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 na. To the other side. Na, 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 na. Clap, clap, sit down. Okay. Yeah. You look great, you know. You did it. Okay. Are you ready for more? Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Stand up. <laughs> I clap twice. Okay. Clap, clap. Na 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 to the other side. Na 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 na. Clap, clap, sit down. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. We did that. Because now we are going to talk about another app. This is different, but you are going to like it. You are going to love it. Oh my God. <laughs> this is different. The name of this is, what's the name? What's the name again? Sheep for sheep. What really? What's the name? Excellent. There you go. Sheep for sheep. Okay. Sheep for sheep. Dot com. Shepherdship.com. This is a page with pronunciation practice with minimal pairs. You know minimal pairs? 
they are words that are very similar but very different. They're very similar, but the sound is different. And commonly this, that those particular sounds that we practice in the minimal pairs are sounds that are confusing to our students, okay? So this is minimal pairs, including sounds simplified from the international phonetic alphabet symbol. And lots of exercises to do online and print. So this is shakersheep.com. It is a website, is it not an app? It is a website, but it has exercises like this. Yeah, for example, you have sheep, 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 yeah. Yeah, so you can use it in your classroom if you have this, uh, this uh, projector and everything, or you can assign the page for homework and students practice at home, and then you reinforce the following day, okay? You ask them, okay? to reinforce. This is very important. Very important. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Because sometimes you, you tell them to say, comételo. And they say, eat it. Eat it. <laughs> of course it's not eat it. Yeah. And then you practice with them. Okay, no. It's eat it. Eat it. Okay, eat it. And you say, eat, 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 eat. Now you do it. Eat, eat, eat. Great. <laughs> and then you make them practice. This is a, the way they work with the minimal pairs, but with the page, okay? You have 29 different pages. 29 different pages full of exercises of the minimal pairs. And the only thing that they need to do is to use their mouse. And with the mouse, they activate the different sounds. And they can see and they can compare. It's good for children, but it's also good for adults, you know. Adults need to know the differences. Here we have a video, but I don't know. I don't think we have a speaker. Do we have a speaker? Are we connected to a speaker, please? No. <laughs> okay, because I have a video here. Now, if you can see, it moves. And if you could hear, <laughs> you could, if you could hear that, well, you can see the hand. The hand is activating the correct sound. Kids are going to be listening to the pronunciation of the words. Oh, don't worry because of the sound. This is something very quick, but thank you very much for, for, for worrying. So, if you see the hand, yeah, this is the way they are going to be working with the page. Yeah, like clicking and comparing. Comparing the minimal pairs. And then they can repeat. They can be repeating the way they can pronounce. Okay practicing and they are 29 pages similar to this one okay with some uh, pictures illustrations and of course the words with the pronunciation this is it okay what's the name of it shepherd sheep okay shepherd sheep shepherd sheep dot com 29 different pages did you like it Yes. Tell you. Ah. <laughs> okay, once you can log in in your computer, you are going to like it more. Another one, very different, very different, is Tim's Pronunciation Workshop. Tim's Pronunciation Workshop, it is from the BBC, one, okay? Learning English, yeah? So, and that is it. It shows intermediate students how English is really spoken how to become a better listener and a more fluent speaker. There are many things that help us to speak like more naturally, more like native speakers. There are many YouTubers showing us yeah, some, some lessons. In this case, this is like kind of more structured because of the content and the things that they display. This is Tim, ain't he cute? <laughs> Well, <laughs> and it says uh, yeah, it, it has the International Phonetic Alphabet as well. Here we have yeah, videos. There are videos and there are lessons and it has some material in the comments of the videos that can be printable. And it says we have all the phonetic alphabet there displayed. He gives a very good and complete explanation of the chart. 
if you are studying phonetics, because some of us are studying, are still studying and never finish studying, right? So if you are studying phonetics, this is going to be good for you. It's going to give you examples, it's going to give you explanation of all the letters. And here we have this play, the vowels that are very different vowels in English and in Spanish, right? In Spanish, we only have five. And in English, how many? Almost 20, 13, ¿quién da más? <laughs> okay, if we count the diptongs, yes, there are more than, but of course there are more than five. It is good that we know them, it is good that we practice them. Sometimes maybe you would like to share one of them with your students. If you see that they are like having problems with some of the words or the sounds, yeah, it's going to be useful for you in case you need them. And guess what? We also have the video of the position, the correct position of the mouth, the tongue, and the teeth, okay? That's very good. So as, as they repeat, they can use a mirror. Yes, remember to recommend that to them. So they can mirror the articulation. Now for us, it's impossible to look at them. It's impossible to be looking at the way they are speaking. We barely listen to them, right? <laughs> and if you are teaching online, oh, forget about it. That's why I consider this was going to be a very important topic to teach, to talk about, the yeah, pronunciation. The original topic was in the lockdown, don't leave pronunciation behind. Okay, that was the original one. Because we were in distance learning, in virtual learning. Are you back at school? I am already back at school. In my school now we are in the classrooms. Maybe you are not, maybe you are. But anyways, you can see all these apps are good for whatsoever the case. Yes, you can use them face to face, assign them for homework. Or if you are in virtuality, it's very good. The kids receive, your students receive feedback, good feedback. And they have good time learning good things. So this is learning English with Teams, Teams uh, Classroom, okay? Teams Classroom showing series of videos that are very useful. And this is another one, very different. All of them are different, that's why I love them, because they are different and depending on what you want. Forbo, Forbo is the pronunciation dictionary. All the words in the world pronounced by native speakers. And guess what? This is a different app and we didn't clap. Ready for the clap? Yeah. Stand up. One, two, three. Na, 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 na. Sing with me. Na, 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 na. Clap, clap, sit down. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Very, very good people here. Yeah. So Forbo, Forbo then is a dictionary. You have all the words, but with the pronunciation, pronounced by native speakers. And not only in English, if you are into different languages, you are going to find the language that you are studying there. Well, maybe, right? Hopefully. It has many, many languages, unless you are studying a very strange language. Maybe you don't find it there, but for more, and it's for free. It is for free. It is a pronunciation dictionary. Yeah, you sign up on a free account. It is very important that you create your free account because you are going to keep track of the vocabulary that you are learning. It has some lessons, or you can just check at any time because it has a magnifying glass. With a magnifying glass, you immediately Immediately, you look for the word and it gives you the pronunciation, but not the pronunciation given by a machine. Because sometimes if you get, for example, to dictionary.com, it's like a machine. And these ones have different people, normal people, common people. Yeah, and sometimes it has options. Sometimes you can choose, okay, like the northern accent or the southern accent, or how, how would you like that word, that word to be pronounced, okay? And you can listen and you can compare. It is interesting. Here, uh, then you create your account with your user, username or email and you create a password. Or you can 
log in with Facebook and you can log in with Google. Okay, that's it. Uh, for Bob? <laughs> for Bob, then is, uh, it has e-learning and as I'm telling you, this is a website, but also an app. You can have it, you can download it on your mobile phone or tablet, okay, if you want, as you prefer, and you can take it with you. It's good, because it's handy. Here it says, get your child, this is for both kids, for both kids. If your students are kids, recommend them to use it in the afternoon. Assign them some words that they have to look at, that they have to listen, that they have to repeat, and tomorrow, you ask them to, to give you the correct pronunciation or something like that. If you have children, ask them to use it. If your children are studying another language other than English, ask them, okay? Well, this version for kids is in English, Espanol, Ransweb, Euskara, and Dutch. That's it. Okay, so this has some e-learning lessons. E-learning lessons are there. Yeah, so if you register, you can take those lessons and you can be receiving your feedback and keeping track of your progress. You complete your profile, you can create your account, and there is another site for practicing English. For example, here, here now it says beginner lesson one, two, three, four, and zero percent completed. Here it says the description of the levels, so you can pick one level for you, for your students. If you are working with adults, this is the one, this is a good one also. Uh, maybe sometimes we are like not really teachers, but facilitators or mentors of some students because they don't have time to come to class. And they want you to recommend them the material and then when they have a chance, they see you for conversation, but most of the time they don't see you. And you cannot just give them a book. Uh, yes, it's de la página 8 a la 10. How? <laughs> no, you need something like this, right? You need something that they can do it at home autonomously and the time and the place that they want without you, but they understand, okay? Because they are already said, already done lessons, okay? Here we have thematic lessons. Thematic lessons, like for example, this in March 2020. The first day, they uploaded this coronavirus pronunciation guide. <laughs> so there are sometimes, uh, depending on the topics of the current events that we are having, they upload different vocabularies. For example, when there were the Olympic Games, the, the list was there. But all the vocabulary for the Olympic Games and being very interesting things, Valentine's, Thanksgiving, Christmas, elections, Yes, things like those. So they are thematic and they are very good. Yeah, you look for them in past events and you can recommend some of them depending on the season. Here, that was for Bob. And now we have another one. I think we are having another one. It's time for us to clap, everybody. One, two, three, clap, clap. Na, na, na. I love you. Okay, we have this one, another one, very different. Remember, very different. Maybe you know it. This is Elsa Speak. Elsa Speak is the world's best English pronunciation app, and it is you can download it. It is a very good one because it gives you feedback in many different, but very specific feedback. You speak to the telephone. And it gives you the feedback in colors. You have artificial intelligence power pronunciation coach. Help you improve your English speaking skills. It's short on dialogue and get instant feedback from our speak recognition technology. You sign up for an account for free. You get the most, uh, well, step one, you take the free assessment test for free. You take five minutes for your test, okay? And Elsa is going to give you your level, your level according to what, the way you pronounce. So you stop there to uh, start the assessment test. 
Here it says that the most accurate and useful test to discover English speaking proficiency. But it is more for pronunciation, not really for speaking proficiency. I have some students with, who, who are proficient, but their pronunciation is not very right. So, it's not the same. You tap on the microphone, and then you read the sentence. Every question is like that. They have 13 questions in the, in the quiz. And then you read the sentence, and if you don't like it, you, you can listen to the recording. If you don't like it, you can record it again, and again, and again. Once you are satisfied with your sentence, then you say, then you give, continue, okay? And like that, you do your quiz, and you're going to get your results. You tap on submit and continue. There is a score for that person. That's not mine. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> Your score will be shown here. It says 56% and it is intermediate. And according to your score, Elsa is going to recommend you your starting point for the lessons that you are going to take with Elsa. You can, you can use the version that is for free. You follow your customized lesson plan and a personalized lesson plan will be created. Uh, you, use, you have some lesson modules which are very good. Lesson percentages show how close you are to speaking like a native speaker, okay? This person is 74% of close to speaking like a native speaker. This is Elsa, and well, I'm afraid that we are going to finish, but don't worry because you're going to take the presentation. The presentation has uh, some other explanations for Elsa speak. But then we have another one, a very good one, that is fluent you. We have this uh, pronoun droid. Pronoun droid is another one. English pronunciation, it's another one. Say it. It has the definitions of all the apps, sounds. Learn English daily is very good. Some of them are with videos. Some of them are with with uh, explanations. What did I do? <laughs> oh, no. Really? Seriously? <laughs> no, I have to click on something. There are key, it's a key combination, right? Algo, enter, enter algo. No me digan que no. Really? Algo, end. Tiene que haber algo. Control qué? End? ¿Y de dónde saco el end? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Scan the code. And all the presentation is going to be for you. Scan it. Scan it. And if you cannot scan it right now, take a picture of it. If you cannot scan it because you don't have a QR code reader, take a picture of it. And take it home. So when, when you are at home, maybe you can ask one of your children to do it for you or a friend or with another telephone, but take a picture, okay? Take a picture of the QR code, and everybody can get the presentation, okay? Before you leave, I really want to beg you, those who want to be in the photograph with me, could you please come here? Oh my God, if you want to be here in a photograph, in a very nice photograph here in the front, thank you, thank you. Come, come, come. <laughs> I would really appreciate to have a picture with you if you want. To have a picture with me. <laughs> Yay! De ladito nos ponemos y unos abajo. Excellent. Some. And some. Yay! Okay, come to the picture if you want to be in the picture. Yay! Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, I know. Thank you very much. If you want to be in the picture, come here. If you have a nice time, oh my God, come tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to have another one, remember? At 2 or 2.30 in a different room. But it is going to be about blended learning, hybrid learning, and flipped uh, classroom. Flipped classroom with many tools, many things. Yes, many ideas.
Different, different technology. Yes. 